this question is how to prevent a patient from pre-diabetic to become diabetic. Now studies done in India called as Indian Diabetes Prevention Program have shown that you can prevent diabetes in Indians by simple lifestyle modification and by using drugs like metformin and pioglitazone. But either metformin or using pioglitazone was not more beneficial or more significant in preventing you know, stage from pre-diabetes to diabetes versus lifestyle modification. Now, if you are in a HbA1c range of 5.7 to 6.4 and if your fasting plasma glucose is more than 110 and below 125 and your pro or post glucose is more than 140 and below 180 then you are in pre-diabetic range. You can prevent pre-diabetes by regularly visiting the doctors, following the diet plan advised by them, improving your lifestyle modification. If you are overweight or obese, targeting that weight loss, inculcating certain stress-free management environment and keeping a tab on the daily activities that you do. Along with that, periodic checkups and visit to the doctors is mandatory. Today I am going to be talking about how to prevent diabetes. Diabetes can be prevented by following certain simple rules, uh, eating healthy, putting more green leafy vegetables, lessen the carbohydrate load and the fat dose in your fat content in your diet, exercising and walking, walk at least depending on your age, 5 days a week for at least 30 to 45 minutes and 15 minutes if you can do in a some aerobic activity that will be helpful and if you are at risk of getting diabetes in case if you have a family history you have high in pre-diabetic range or you have blood pressure or you have cholesterol then you need to check the blood sugars every yearly once and a HPMC and then tailor the treatment accordingly to the physician's advice. Today I will be talking about tips for avoiding complications in diabetes. You can easily avoid or prevent complications in diabetes by number one, right from the time of diagnosis if you are keeping your blood sugar under control, right from the time of diagnosis if you are keeping the blood pressure under control, right from the time of diagnosis if you are keeping the LDL levels and the triglycerides level under control, it is very easy to prevent complications. This along with a good diet which has been recommended by the doctor and the dietitian and a lifestyle modification coupled with regular physical activity and some aerobic exercises go a large way in preventing the complications. You should also target your HPNC levels below 7 and if you can below 6.5 which will be helpful in preventing the micro and the microvascular complications of diabetes. And for managing the other complications, you should also be screened once in a year for diabetic retinopathy, feet for neuropathy, an ECG for cardiovascular disease, and a urine protein or urine microalbumin to see the kidney disease. Today I will be talking, talking about management of hypoglycemia at home. Hypoglycemia is a very important complication in diabetes which can happen day to day and it is more common and it can be identified either by the symptoms or if the blood sugar value is below 70. Once you see a patient having a value below 70 or he, has, he or she has got the symptoms of hypoglycemia, please give them direct sugar or glucose powder into their mouth, saliva will absorb it, check the blood sugar after 15 minutes, if it doesn't go up then give another 2 spoons of glucose or sugars 
and in the meantime the patient is conscious oriented and able to swallow give them a sugary drink or a chocolate or something to eat which will make the sugar go up if the patient is symptomatically improving and the blood sugar is going up and he is not on any agents which are known to cause hypoglycemia like insulin and salpingia he can be managed at home but in case of the hypoglycemia doesn't improve and he is on insulin multiple doses of insulin and salpingia and drugs which cause hypoglycemia please take him to the nearest hospital and get treated